But now all, everything has already been changed, you know. We have to live in a very conducive atmosphere to do something for the welfare of our people. Pakistani people also, they are very poor people. Afghan people also, they are very poor people. We are in need for cooperation to provide some ground for economic development, social welfare, and good understanding, you know, increasing cultural ties or something like this. If any government or some particular circle within the, gover uh, within the government wants to create some problem between two countries, this is not according to the wish of the both people of Afghanistan and Pakistan. Therefore, uh, the Afghan people, they don't have any problem with the people of Pakistan. If there is some misunderstanding be emerged or some wrong policy be, be considered, it should be solved through peaceful means. Uh, be, yes, the, the uh, manifestation in uh, Jalalabad against Pakistan government, it, it was some idea within the people that Pakistan troops uh, came forward approximately f uh, 45 kilometers toward Afghan side. Therefore, all the people of Afghanistan, the most part of the people of Afghanistan, they, they would like to reflect their own sentiments against this kind of uh, coming toward Afghanistan. You know. Now, also, we also want. If uh, Pakistani troops came forward you know, in the soil of Afghanistan, I think it will be better should withdraw and go back at the main uh, location that uh, Pakistan was before. This kind of really, really small things will create a big misunderstanding between two people. Okay, in misunderstandings to avoid karne ke liye, kya ye zuri nahi hai ki is border ko manage kiya jaye? I think it's very, very essential, that very important that we should come together and we should talk very frankly, you know, very friendly, all the issues. And we should ask each other, what's the problem? What do you want from us? For example, if I be president, I will ask the Mr. Uh, Nawaz Sharif, what do you want from Afghanistan? You know, what we should do for you? That you shouldn't have any any bad uh, intention, or but you shouldn't take any wrong policy toward Afghanistan. Also, for uh, the government of Pakistan, it's very important that you should ask from us very frankly, you know, you know, what we want from Pakistan. Yeah, through negotiation and through peaceful approaches, as possible that we should remove all this kind of misunderstanding. The only thing. We want that the Afghan side should not be used against Pakistan or against the interest of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. But uh, nowadays we are witnessing that some of the TTP people, they are hiding in Kunar. Mm -hmm. And even in the past, the below separatists were invited to Kandahar and even to Kabul. So this is the main grievance of the Pakistani people. This is the, this is the main question. You know that the Afghan Taliban, they are living in Pakistan. Kuwait Ashura, North Waziristan. Everybody knows that we are Jalaluddin in Haqqani headquarters. And we are uh, Shura Kuwait or what kind of activity is going on over there? Maybe the same will be in the site of uh, Connor, you know. Yeah, there's some 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 uh, some uh, rumors that there's many Pakistani Taliban they are living in Connor. You know, even they this, this located our uh, ordinary people from their own villages. You know? Therefore, the Afghan Taliban, this is not good for Afghanistan. And Pakistani Taliban, also they are not good for Pakistan. Your Excellency, it's not necessary that without visa and passport, the two countries of the Afghan Taliban will be finished and only with visa and passport will be legal to travel in a legal way. Yeah, I will believe that two people, they should have their own passport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, therefore, the, all the borders should be controlled. All the people that they would like to go to Pakistan and come back to Afghanistan, they should have a good uh, document, you know, mm -hmm. that this kind of document will prevent that we should know all terrorist groups if they want to cross the border and come to Afghanistan, and from Afghanistan to Pakistan. 
Therefore, good understanding between two countries, you know, will provide all the ground that we should solve our problem. Now, unfortunately, in Afghanistan also, we don't have any fixed door that people go and come. In Pakistan also, they have, uh, they, 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 have, they have the same problem. Yeah, uh, it is very important that we should solve all this problem. Therefore, a permanent border, a controlled border, you know, is, is very important that we should have. And we should solve the... Mazi uh, mein Pakistan ki taraf se fencing ki tajweez di gai thi. Ab Pakistan ye excuse karte hai ki ye to porous border hai, hume pata nahi hai ki Afghan Taliban kahan se aaye aur chup gaye. Afghan hukumat ye excuse pesh karti hai ki hume pata nahi Pakistani Taliban kahan se aaye aur chup gaye. To jo fencing ka idea tha, uske baare mein aap loon ka stand kya hai? You know that our government say that this deal online is not recognized by our government. Therefore, first of all, we should solve this problem, you know. Then border should be fixed, border should be controlled, you know, the, the second phase. I think initially we should start our, our talking, our negotiation about the Duran line. When we uh, be able to solve this problem with the cooperation of international community and also with, the, with, the, with all the historical documents that existed in Pakistan and Afghanistan, then we should fix this border, we should have permanent border. This is very really important for the people of Afghanistan and also for the people of Af Pakistan and Afghanistan. Baaz log ye raya rakhte hain ki Afghanistan mein adam istihkam ki ek badi waja yahaan India aur Pakistan ka proxy war hai. Aapko aisa nazar aa raha hai ki Afghanistan mein India aur Pakistan ek dousre ke saath lal rahi hain aur agar haan, to is masle ka hal kya? You know that all the time uh, some Pakistani friends say that India has a lot of involvement in Afghanistan. Therefore, it's not tolerable for Pakistani people or for Pakistan government. But Afghanistan, uh, this is a free and independent government. We, sh we have this right to have good relationship with all the countries. But it doesn't mean at the cost of our relationship with Pakistan. You know? We, we, we are in need for the economic support of India and Afghanistan. There's a lot of economic project in here. Also, we invite our Pakistani brothers that they should have the same economic involvement in Afghanistan. We welcome our Pakistani brothers. Why not? You know? But your uh, forces, they are also getting training in uh, India. So are you ready to send your troops to Pakistan for military training? If you be able to solve our problem, particularly uh, those terrorist groups that they are uh, uh, in two sides of their own lines, you know, if you remove the obstacle with, uh, 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 within our relationship, you know, yeah, why not? In the security issues, in economic uh, issues, and all the places we like to have good relationship with Pakistan. If we send our uh, student to India for education, this is the same. Why we uh, also we can we, uh, we should be able to send our student to Pakistan. Now also we have only sent a lot of people, a lot of students to Pakistan for education. You know? There is no. But the only the, the first of all we should solve our misunderstanding. It's a recent past me. Dono mamalik ke talukat me talki aayi. پروفیسر برحان الدین ربانی کی شہادت کے بعد اس کے لیے افغان حکومت کے بعد سرکل پاکستان کی طرف انگلی اٹھاتے رہے آپ کے لیڈر بھی تھے آپ کے محترم بھی تھے آپ کی فائنڈنگز کیا ہے ان کو کس نے شہید کیا اور کیا اس میں پاکستان کا کوئی ہاتھ تھا برحان الدین ربانی کی شہادت میں some people of the government of Pakistan was behind this, this assassination or something like this. But we believe that Mr. Rabboni was a very, uh, had a good relationship with all the politicians of Pakistan, you know. He was living in Pakistan more than 30 years, you know. We didn't see any reason that the, the Pakistan government be behind the assassination of uh, Mr. Rabboni. But there, in the meantime, there is no any doubt that those people killed Mr. Rabbani. They were coming from uh, Kuwait Ashura. Mm -hmm. You know, those people that, uh, you know, 
uh, they said something, uh, how they came here and from which uh, sources they have already uh, got instruction from uh, Kuwait Ashura. So you believe that uh, Taliban killed Professor Rabani? Yes, there's some people of Taliban. Those people that were arrested in Kabul, hmm. they, they will belong to, the, belong to the organization of Taliban. Thank you very much, Ahmed Zia Masood Saab. Nazreen, you have Afghan National Front of the Sarbara, Ahmed Zia Masood, and you have been very happy that in their opinion, the government of the Pakistan has been very happy کے لیے ان کے عزم کا اظہار بھی ہے اور یہ اس سے بھی بڑی خوشائن بات ہے کہ ماضی کی تلخیوں کو دفن کر کے وہ پاکستان کے ساتھ ایک نئے سفر کا نہ صرف آغاز کرنا چاہتے ہیں بلکہ ڈیورین لائن جیسے جو تنازعات ہیں دونوں ممالک کے درمیان اس کو بھی وہ فوری طور پر مذاکرات کے ذریعے حل کرنے کی کوشش کر رہی ہیں اس دعا کے ساتھ کہ افغانستان بھی امن اور خوشحالی کا گہوارہ بن جائے اور پاکستان بھی امن اور خوشحالی کا گہوارہ بن جائے اور اس دعا کے ساتھ کہ کابل اسلام آباد کے دکھ کو اپنا دکھ سمجھے اور اسلام آباد کابل کے درد کو اپنا درد سمجھے افغان دار الحکومت کابل سے اس خصوصی جرگہ سے اجازت چاہتا ہوں اللہ حافظ